hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video so in today's video i'm going to be showing you a piano trick you can use with passing chords and i promise you this is for all levels so whether you're a beginner intermediate or advanced this is the piano trick that you need so let's get started with the lesson first off i'm going to demonstrate the piano trick i'm going to be showing you today by using it in the context of a song so let's use the song blessed assurance Yeah, so that's the I did here. Um, there are a lot of variations we can, you know, play. We could do. Um, so to understand the concept of this piano trick, we have to first of all understand the concept of secondary dominance. Now, directly or indirectly, I have talked about secondary dominant a lot on this channel but the idea is very simple all right if you want to pass to a chord a given chord all you have to do is go to the five of that given chord make it a dominance and then you get the secondary dominant concept so for example let's say we want to pass to d minor so question what is the five of d one two three four five the five is a quite simple right so we'll play a dominant seven or a seven right or let's say we want to pass to G. What is the five of G? One, two, three, four, five. D. So we'll play D dominant seven. Quite simple, right? Now, if you take a look at the dominant seven there, for example, let's take the D dominant seven. We can use this as a passing to the five, explaining the secondary dominant concepts. So D dominant seven goes to G major, which is the five in the key of C. D7 to the 5. Now, here's how we can look at that dominant 7 chord. We have the 1, 3, 5, and 7 that consists of the dominant 7, D dominant 7. And we can look at this chord in another way by treating the 7, which is the C, as an outcast. And here's what I mean by this. The 7 is actually an extension. It is an extension that is added to the three notes that mix up the root chord. So the 7 is like a branch that has been added to the root. And the root is a major triad. So we can treat the 7 as an outcast. We can just take it off to make things maybe simpler and easier. Now that we've gotten our major triad of the secondary dominant concept by taking out the 7, we can now treat that major triad that we got as our new key but only for a moment. It is only going to be temporarily. So what to do next is to find chords that can complement this chord. So we want to be in the key of D for a moment at that moment that we are voicing a secondary dominant concept where again we've taken out the 7. So we are in the key of D. So there are many chords that can complement this major triad. We can do a 5-1. So right, that is A major to D major. That is a 5-1. We can do a 4-1. Right, that is G major to D major. We can do a minor 4-1, minor plagal condense. Okay. G minor to D major. We can even do a 2-1. Okay, 2, which is E minor to D major. We can do a diminished 7 to the 1, that is like the 7, diminished 7, I mean the 7 of D, you form a diminished 7 of that to the 1. The next step now is to play inversions of our primary and secondary chord, downward or upward. So the primary chord is d major triad that is the triad that we got out from the secondary dominant concept by taking out the seven and whatever chord we can pick that would complement this major triad is a secondary chord so let's first of all pick g minor so we're gonna do like a minor four to the one that is a minor plagal condense so what we can do is we can do d major and i'm gonna play 
G minor going downward and I'm going to play D major I'm going to play G minor I'm going to play D major I'm going to play G minor I'm going to play D major you get the points now right so I'm switching between the primary and the secondary chord we could even try that movement and see how it sounds in the song. For example, let's use the song Because He Leaves. Because he leaves, I can face tomorrow. Because he leaves, all fear is gone. We have that dominant seven there. Going to the five word again. We took out the seven, so we have D major. So we put that D major there. Go into the five. But again, we can use the other chord that complements it for now we are doing g minor to d major and we're going to try out other chords as well so let's so let's try this because he lives i can face tomorrow you see i just only play the movement on my right hand right on that D major there before I go to my five chord now when we make the chords fuller you know it makes more sense so here's what I did D major that's the primary chord and I'm going to switch to the secondary chord which is G minor okay and I'm going downward D major I'm going to switch to G minor and of course you can make some changes by adding maybe other extensions okay but let's try to stay basic as possible so that's like a passing chord you can do on the major two going to the five, right? I'm voicing it now in drop twos, maybe. To your five chord. Now we can try other um, secondary chords to complement the primary chord, which is D major triad. Now we can use E minor triad. That is like the two one, two one, two one. Yeah. You get the points now you get the feel now so that's that's the move the way it's going so we can do d major e minor okay d major e minor d major it does it a five one there maybe just to make things a little bit you know spicy but yeah let's use this song let's use a different song um let's use um yes jesus loves me so yes jesus loves me yes jesus loves me that is our d major they're going to the five right let's try it Now you get a point, right? You can try other secondary chords yourself. For example, you can try maybe the four one. Okay, I'm giving that in relation to the key of D. Okay, don't be lost. So we are doing like a four one, which is a G major, D major, G major, D major, G major, D major. There's nothing else we're adding. We're just playing inversions of the chord, and we're not doing anything much. Okay, I might, you know, maybe revisit this uh lesson again maybe to add more color to the chords but for now we are just only doing basic chords triads right so we can do d major g major d major uh d and uh, g major <laughs> d major uh. very simple movement we did in the key of d i'm sure many of you can play this but yeah you understand we have to use it now so uh. 
sorry for my grossness there. 